Hey you guys, I'm back over here at the auction, doing a quick little video. A couple vehicles I'm interested in. Uh, one, this Crown Vic, we'll see what that sells for. It's pretty rusty and crusty, doesn't run. But what I came to look at is this F-250 with the 5.4 and a utility body. It's uh, just rolling under it yesterday and it's actually pretty rust free. It says it's inoperable. Uh, I didn't, didn't mess around with it, didn't get the keys and put a jump pack to it or anything. You really should do that when you're coming to these auctions, but I didn't have a lot of time. Uh, however, you know, this bed is not rusted out at all. And that's kind of, I'm thinking if it sells cheap, we'll grab it, see what we could do. Maybe we could flip it, maybe put this on the Ram and try it out. Uh, but it's, it's really not in bad shape. So I think this is gonna sell for quite a bit. And you know what, since I'm feeling good today, I'm gonna buy it no matter what. High bidder right here, you're looking at it. So we'll see if you end up overpaying at these auctions. Hopefully there's not one other guy saying the same darn thing. But again, the fact that it's not rotted out, I mean, you come to these auctions and like, being jersey vehicles they're just so rusty this thing looks beautiful underneath oh, he has a whole brand new exhaust on it too aftermarket but what the heck could really be wrong it's certainly worthy of a transmission or an engine if either are blown because it's 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 clean like come on look at those doors and the rockers solid no body work and there was one other utility f-250 here but it was a newer body uh, on a utility body and it was all rotted out in the corner like these things seem to just rust out from the inside but i also didn't like like the newer i think this is made by nat pride but the newer ones have plastic hinges this has got the heavy duty stainless and it's in really nice shape kind of looking for something that i can put the truck camper on still i went home did some measuring and our clapper camper would actually fit in here perfectly it looks like i measured about 49 inches between and the the other one that was util utility body here on it it's also an app high but it was tighter in between by like a half inch it had a different overlap on the metal and stuff so this has got really heavy duty steel diamond plate on the top so, yeah, let's see what happens we got maybe 15 more cars and i gotta say there are some people hanging out checking this one out looks like some very serious bidders came for that f-250 oh, thousand dollars thousand thousand i got a thousand twelve hundred twelve twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen eighteen two thousand twelve thousand eighteen twelve hundred fourteen sixteen eighteen eighteen two thousand two thousand two thousand i got two twenty two twenty two twenty four twenty six 2600, 2600, gonna go, 2600, 26, 27, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, sold 2700, 251. All right, picked up the utility. Only problem with buying a last vehicle is you end up in the big line. Well, luckily I ran over here, so there's a line about this size gonna form behind me too. Well, got my pink slip to be able to come back and get a title. All right, guys, we just pulled off the highway. There is a dog running down the highway. Let's see if we can get him. See what the deal is with him. Come here, Bubs. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here, buddy. He's taking off. I'm not going to go backwards on the highway, but it seems all the cars are just kind of stopping, and he's just running on through the highway. There's a dog running down the highway. Is that your dog? It's not, no, I was just trying to help. Oh, he's right under your car, yeah. I don't want to spook him, he's right under you. He's Maybe let him calm down. He was running all the way since the bridge is down there too. Really? Yeah. Hang on, she's got treats over here. It's cheese, but. Sorry, your dog probably thinks I'm. Here, here's some treats. Thank you. Yep. Thank you anyway. I'm gonna leave. Is that your dog? Or? No, it's not, no. Does he not want to come out? I, I would just pull him out and get him in. Right, right. Yeah, just pull him out. Yeah. Unless he's biting, then. then. I don't know. Just Is he? One. Just call the cover one. He's scared. He's scared. He's scared. He's scared. Then you All right. I got I'm I'm afraid if he'll like attack you or something though is the, is the thing. It's okay. He no, can. He's on the back. That's fine. You sure? All right. Yeah. 
Don't you keep all right, Bubs. He was all the way down. I just shut that way. Oh, all right. Well, huh? Oh, oh, my he was way down. Thank you. All right. Thanks so much. Oh, yeah, I was like, Seriously. Dog's like, do I get a treat now? I know. He's like, what about me? Yeah. Well, that was a happy ending. She's uh, going to bring him to a dog shelter, and he's he really had to get dragged out under the car. Wasn't you know very scared. He's been running. That one lady said, all the way since the Trenton Makes Bridge. That was that's mile. He was just out of breath. Thanks again for the treats. I'm back over here next day for a jump pack and I paid for it the rest of the balance and we got keys let's see what it does before we go uh, grabbing a trailer and had a few moments to stop over today if we don't need a trailer we don't need a trailer right maybe it does run of course the hood struts junk good all start all 5.4 Triton. Let's see what you do. Hopefully that works. If the battery is stone cold. No. Yeah, there we go. All right. 86,000 miles. And here goes cranking. Booyah. This thing runs perfect. Listen to that. So maybe the trans is blown. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That 5.4's got plenty of life left in it. Let's go into reverse. Yeah, that was a little light on the engagement. And forward, yeah, we're good. Oh, just had a little hesitation there. All right, well, unfortunately they already locked the gates. I got here late today, but I think we'll ride the e-bike over tomorrow and pick it on up uh, i should have paid the first day when i came here but i didn't have enough cash so i had to come back with a cashier's check and uh heck yeah the one unfortunate thing about buying from this auction is you know they sign it put your information on the back so you have to transfer this into your name which yeah they gotta pay tax on it because they put the full asking or the full uh sell price on it and get that transferred and pick it up tomorrow uh, you know it said it was in up and talking to the guy he's like yeah that doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't run but maybe you might take it down the road and it's only got first gear or once it warms up it's it starts acting up so we will find out and 317 dollars later we can now wait two weeks to get a title back in our name so we're officially into this for three thousand seventeen dollars and next day ready to take a ride over on the walkie x3 loaded down with a car battery in there and some tools and it seems a little much for this frame, especially sticking off the back, but we'll give it a go. It's chilly out in the 40s, so uh, got my hat and gloves. Windy and breezy out on the river. All sorts of ripples. Normally I just ride across these bridges, but this one has a post on both sides, so they'll get you, you know probably let you off with a warning but if there's only one on one side then you're you can usually get away with it it's a little silly you can't ride across but rules are the rules i gotta say it's really nice that they replaced all the wood with treks years ago and it's holding up so nice but you know see how these are getting all crusty and rusty i bet you they throw salt down on this come and i mean i can't believe how much that's rusting after a few years like the bridge steel, it's 100 years old. Phoenix Iron Company. And they got all these extra signs that have been added. You can't even see the original. The Phoenix Bridge Company, Phoenixville, PA. And constructed 1884 and rehabbed 2010. That was, uh, that was 13 years ago. Feels like it was a few years. What's nice is I can just hop on a canal path up here and take that all the way where I'm going. Got these old houses from colonial times. Pretty neat. Ah, they're still green on the trees and we are now in November and it's cold. No, they're, they're still hanging on. And we've made it. 
Looks like they're already getting ready for the next auction. Another F-250. That one's all rotted out though. You can see it a mile away. So a couple quick checks. Air filter looks great. Power steering up to level in the reservoir. Brake fluid good. Engine oil. At the bottom of the stick, about a quart low. Coolant down below the cold minimum. No moisture in the crankcase. Trans, not running, but let's see what we got on the stick. Yep, over the line. Fire up this Gulu. See what that's got to say. All right, yeah, so battery lights on. Oh, just went off. All right, that'll be fine. And again, I did bring the battery in case. Oh, geez, I almost lost those. Hopefully I didn't lose anything else. I mean, every bump I hit, it was just jostling up and down. Now, luckily, this full-size bike is folding because I forgot it had the, the top on it that only slides halfway up. far so good sticky steering wheel oh look at that police car that thing got smashed up feels great wipers work windshield washers nice smooth ride over these bumps I mean that's what 80,000 miles feels like everything's not worn out and shifting into all the gears just fine we're up to operating temperature on the coolant transmission good oil pressure fuel light just came on a minute ago but then went off and so we'll go throw a little bit in there however the gauge seems to be working how about the heat we're missing the uh the vent louvers here oh yeah heat works very nice and how about the ac Let's listen for that compressor. Mm, didn't hear the compressor turn on. Not a big deal going into the winter anyway. And I didn't notice it before, but we do have an hour meter, 3087. I'm cruising down the freeway, doing about 65 or so. I'm showing 1500 RPM and our overdrive is flashing. Just noticed the speedometer is not working either. I never saw that. I'm sure you guys did, but I, I don't know how I didn't see it right in front of me. So maybe it has some trans problems with that overdrive off flashing. Doesn't seem to do anything. Oh no, okay. There's no overdrive. And then I push it, it goes back in. So overdrive is working, it's just flashing off. I'll have to do a code scan on it. See how the shifting and acceleration is. It's full throttle. Yeah, feels real good. I don't know if you guys hear that. Sounds like a ball joint. Dry. That could be steering linkage too. And a little good luck charm there. Took 5.4 gallons with 20 bucks with the 5.4 Triton. Let's see if that drive at the battery. No, we're stone cold dead on the battery. Darn it. Oh, I shouldn't have shut it off. Gulu to the savior. Now, it kind of stinks that they, it looks like they use permanent marker right and all over this paint job. Come on, what do you do? I'll come off with magic eraser though, I'm sure. That's how much the fuel gauge came up at 20 bucks and we got the engine lights. I'm guessing maybe a trans code. Well, here's what I'm thinking for a plan. Title's probably gonna be three weeks or so. They can clean it up a little bit, at least get the auction numbers off the, the front. Put up a feeler ad, I don't know. Maybe, geez, if we can get five grand for this thing or six grand, I don't know if it's worth that being a two wheel drive, but uh, that'd be kind of cool. I don't know. I'll put it up in there, see how the MDB folks can get any other goodies in here. There's blocks of wood. Nice pen. I'll go in a pins drawer, along with some miscellaneous hardware. See, kicking around. Homemade 
grade box. 94.5, the Hulk, classic rock. I remember that station. I didn't even fully peel the sticker. What the heck? Uh, nothing in here, but a nice piece of plastic. Yeah, this is heavy duty. Restroom, I don't know what that would say. Anybody good at uh, Jeopardy? <laughs> um, but this will go into the plastic bin. That's good quality, plenty of life left. I was trying to pull the code real quick. The Nico wouldn't communicate with it, but this Actron did. P0500, speed sensor malfunction. Oh, that would make sense. Since the speedometer's not working, and who knows, maybe they had to, some weird transmission shifting issues. So it's been idling for a while. Yeah, that battery did end up taking a little bit of a charge. Uh, so, so maybe that speed sensor was causing issues, and that's all it is. Find out, I uh, will pull this battery and put it on repair mode on the charger, because I noticed it's only from 2021, so it's only a couple years old. Motorcraft battery. Check the water level real quick. Yep, good. Covering the plates on all six cells. Yep. And I'll put this NOCO on the 12 volt repair. See what it does. Got the caps just kind of sitting on there loose. Let it breathe. Most of what we got out of the bed was junk. And it got some good usable blocks. And this whole thing is lots of nice pins and other miscellaneous hardware. It all sort into the wall of hardware. That's how we, we get so much, you know, you save what you find and organize it so you can use it at a later time. Hitting this steering wheel up with some super clean to cut the grease. Probably because the guys were auto mechanics, you know, getting the grease and oil all over their hands and then eating away at the vinyl and caking up on here. But yeah, it's, uh, this will come out nice. doing a full inspection but shakedown on the front end components nice and tight you got newer reflex shocks about eight nine thirty seconds on the front pads same thing on those rear pads about nine thirty seconds from seeing on the outside the wheels about seven or eight thirty seconds and a little bit of dry rot starting on the outside these are from 2014 though yeah plenty of meat on the inboard pad as well just taking a peek at them reflex shocks on the back too no major leaks coming from the differential not going to worry about checking the fluid right now surprise it's got a new exhaust on it because uh that clamp's got to get tightened down uh only because the lack of rust i mean check this out guys like you know you know ford trucks Okay, where they bolted that on, a little bit of rust starting in there, but I mean, this is this is really, really nice. And it looks that, uh, I guess they did hit with, I don't know if that's a factory undercoating on there? I don't know, but you can see it's kept up with the maintenance. You know, got a new fuel filter, motorcraft, oil filter, no big leaks coming from the engine, a little damp on the bottom of the trans, pretty normal. Newer front sway bar links. Looks like the lower ball joints have been replaced. Missing the cotter pin on that one, but those are greasable. Missing the cotter pin on this side too. I bet that squeaking noise is probably the upper because they don't see a grease arc on those and they look pretty dry. But the rest of the steering components look like they've been greased. Yeah, no leaks coming out of that 5.4. All right, I see this bottom of the door. Okay, so this one has a little bit of rust starting, you know, but I mean, that's got years left in it. You guys have seen these things when they're out in the salt, they, they rot out really quick. I think that's the worst door because I looked at some others and I didn't see that at all. Well, I, I didn't check them all. Hitch a little rusty, but that's normal. I mean, you look back behind here otherwise. And the factory spare, not rusty. Yeah, that door's really clean. Looks like they had something mounted on the side of here that caused uh, rust. Yeah, that one's much nicer. And the bottom of this door. Sorry about the sloppy camera work here, guys. But uh, bottom of this one looks perfect. 
see what I need to see, grab a couple pictures, and hopefully get the title back soon. And she can rest here over at the storage yard, right next to this little trailer that I ended up selling the engine off. This was one of those like light sign trailers. So I already made over broke even by selling the engine. I think I paid, I think I already profited like a hundred bucks. So I figured I could keep this for something. It's kind of funny, they're, they're both 119 though. I mean, I already took the numbers off this one, but uh, what a coincidence. I gotta say, it's nice with this heavy duty sliding top because I mean, you could easily put like the Rhino or a UTV up here. This is, this is plenty strong, especially on the sides. You got wheels and then if you're like, oh, I gotta get down. Yeah, that fold out step. It's heavy duty enough to stand on. It's nice. Oh, more hardware. Yeah, half inch bolt. Uh, a few weeks later, and I have got the title back for this F-250, so I've got to decide what we're going to do now. Uh, I did decide to take the sliding lid and cut a few brackets off. We could test fit the clapper camper on it, and measurements were accurate. It is a tight fit, but it works. Uh, you can see the, the jacks still have to come up, but I mean, that, that looks good on there. Like, And it's, it's extremely tight. It actually makes it a little bit easier getting it on and off, though, because, uh, well, you can't put it on crooked unlike with the regular bed and so, so the main problem with this these truck campers is on a regular bed you, you know you're losing a lot of storage space but this you can keep all the tools in there can't open the front doors all the way uh have it set up and still have the camper i hear this guy wind it over here let him on in this is uh yeah, gus gained a couple pounds what's up buddy no, that's actually his brother tucker let's see who's faster Okay, you ready? Oh! Oh, he snatched it out of my head. Come on, let's go! Oh, Gus has got you beat, Tucker! <laughs> We're just babysitting his brother for a few days. Go get that, Tucker! Got the wiener races going on in the backyard. Anyway, so a nice little package. Jen actually wants to keep this, but it just doesn't make sense to insure and register another truck. So I'm gonna try putting this up without the utility body for, I'm thinking $4,000. I mean, that'd be great if we could make a grand, cause I'm into it for 3K after having to switch a title and keep the utility body. If not, you know, I don't know, we'll see. It's gotta make sense. New, these are like $8,000 there about, but um, used ones I often see for a grand or 1500, but they're usually really rusty. It's hard to find ones around here that aren't rusty. And this one, well, it's nice. It would look good on the Ram, would need a paint job. But those are my thoughts on this. Oh, well, it fits, it ships, looks good. if i mentioned but the low profile utility body you know perfect for the truck campers because that most of them are up a lot higher and i've been thinking in the future to be able to do an access into the camper i'll have to put a different window in but with the low profiles you know you have plenty of space and it also keeps your center of gravity down uh so if anybody's interested in this very rust free f-250 without a utility bed let me know Again, I'd, I'd like to get 4K. Maybe that's too much, too little. I don't know. And I'll also be keeping an eye on Marketplace for a clean utility bed. Usually when they're rust-free and clean, they sell pretty quick. You can see you got the pavers all done in the carport. Still got to do something with the apron. Come out a little bit further. I, I actually have a bunch of extra pavers, so maybe use those or maybe asphalt. I don't know, but it's nice to have all the vehicles tucked away in there now. And I suppose, you know, the rain and the snow kind of blow in here quite a bit. So I might do some kind of drop down rubber membrane or whatever, something to, to kind of just keep the elements out. Heavy duty tarp, I don't know. If you got an idea, let me know. I mean, at this rate, I should just turn it into a, a darn garage, but it's, it's very nice having these over the stones and only a dollar a piece, totally reasonable. I ran my buddy's uh, plate 
compact plate tamper over it and swept sand into the cracks and that really just firmed it up super nice. Well, that'll wrap this one up. I uh, know we left it kind of open-ended, but it is for sale. So somebody interested, let me know. If I can't get 4K for that without the utility body, it's probably not gonna be worth it. You know, I'll just sell the whole thing together and put that toward uh, another utility body in the future. But I'm not really looking to spend eight or nine K on one, hopefully get a, a better deal. Uh, thank you guys very, very much for tuning in and hope to see you in another video soon. About to get fixing some things on the tundra and back to more organization in the garage I've been spending countless hours doing that but once it's all dialed in it'll be great uh thanks thanks for watching guys no nonsense no how to and i'll see you soon guys get him He's pinned. get him boy tucker hasn't pinned Tucker did, he's all mad. <laughs> okay, you two. <laughs> Chris is like, we were just playing. Chill. Thank <laughs> you.